firstly got the only large-scale fire resistance furnaces in the country. It's got a large full-scale furnace. And we've got a smaller furnace that we use for testing fire doors and uh, door hardware. So this is our full-scale furnace here. So these openings on the side is where the flames come in. So we run on diesel, so there's an air-fuel mixture that gets mixed together and then ignited, and the flames shoot into the furnace. And then these tubes here contain thermocouples, which are a temperature measuring device. And this is how we control the furnace and follow the time temperature curve, so that every time we do a test, we're sticking to the test standard curve. We follow a standard what's called a time temperature curve, which is consistent for all the labs around the world so that everyone's doing the same sort of testing. And this gives you an idea of the temperatures that we get up to within um, the first five to ten minutes, it's sort of six to eight hundred degrees, and then it slowly builds up to eleven or twelve hundred degrees by about the four hour mark. So those are very high temperatures. To give you an example, something like aluminium will have melted by about six or seven hundred degrees. So it hasn't done that to things like steel and glass, but it's a very hot temperature and way beyond what anyone could withstand in a fire in a building. So this door here is a glass fire door, which is quite an unusual type of door, but I'm an example of the type of product we test. And we're testing this in the vertical orientation, whereas this furnace can also rotate to the horizontal orientation. So just done running through the process of doing a test, some of the construction can take up to two weeks for a more complicated specimen, although a standard wall is probably only a day or two and putting a door in is a day or two. And then the tests themselves, so they run for anything from half an hour through to four hours, so some of the longer tests um, go on for quite a long duration, so it's quite a complicated, um, involved process to run the whole test through from construction through to testing. At the end of that, the client is looking to get certification in their country for their product, um, just depending on the regulatory regime in the country they're selling that product into. So we aim to test these products a very rigorous standard because at the end of the day we're talking about life safety, so it's important that the testing is done accurately, uh, robustly, and these products you know, meet the requirements and are fit for purpose.